Give us some context here. How serious is this issue then for, for users and, and people who operate businesses on the internet? All right, no problem. This is probably one of the most serious bugs we've seen in the last uh, five years. And the reason it's so serious is it allows an attacker to go in and really take your crown jewels, your, um, it, your uh, encryption keys, which used to scramble all your data so it can't be seen. It also allows the attacker to access uh, the memory of the machine that's using OpenSSL. And there uh, we've been able to take um, usernames and passwords from our own systems and we did the test and lots of other data that uh, ended up in the memory and uh, as you mentioned in your report uh, what makes this really serious is you you can't tell if you've been hacked it doesn't leave any forensic uh, trail to go afterwards and see if somebody's okay. been there okay so and so david uh, Yep. So, so, David, what would be the advice to businesses that operate, which is most businesses these days, operate using the web? I mean, from small businesses, small retailers perhaps, maybe managing their own website to, to, to big, large retailers. There are websites out there you can go and check whether you are vulnerable to this, can't you? Exactly. So, uh, if you're running a business, basically your IT department or your IT provider should be able to tell you very quickly uh, what version of open SSL you're running. And if you're running an uh, old version, you need to patch that very quickly. And then uh, you need to uh, throw out the encryption keys you're using and then have new keys issued. And then you could tell your end users to uh, change their passwords. So should, you ch that. should consumers change passwords now, David, or wait until they've had confirmation from service providers that all the necessary patches have been put in place? Yeah, they actually need to wait. Uh, they need to ask their service provider if they've done the patch, and if they've done the patch, wait for advice on when they should uh, change their password, because you don't want to change it too soon, as you mentioned, because uh, then it uh, doesn't help you. So you should really follow okay. the guidance of your provider. Uh, you, 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 you've seen, we've seen security breaches at U.S. retailers, the NSA scandal, of course, David, and now this. I mean, are you still shopping online? Are you still sending emails this morning? Uh, yeah, I'm still doing it. Uh, you know, the internet today is a lot safer than it was a week ago because, you know, hundreds of thousands of the main uh, websites and uh, social media and commerce sites have now uh, upgraded and fixed this bug. So the community, the IT uh, security community throughout the world has really been active at getting the word out. And, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of sites using this, but the word's going very quickly and uh, people are updating this and fixing it. So the internet's a lot safer today than it was a week ago. So that's really David, the takeaway for everybody. Thank you.